This series is the first ever television series of its kind. The viewer will see a host family enter their lounge room, switch on their radio. They will listen to a radio play, which establishes a radio first. General Motors have sponsored the telling of one of their employees' life work inside General Motors Holden and at home. The listener will experience the happenings inside GMH and at home as it happens. As the host family reach 1956, they buy a new television. The host family follow the progress of the show as it is broadcast on TV. When the host family reaches 1975, they will buy a new color television and continue watching the series to its conclusion. Now, here's a word from our sponsors. Lion's Den, the series, is proudly brought to you by General Motors. The home of Chevrolet, Buick, LaSalle, Oldsmobile and Cadillac. Lion's Den, Series 1, Episode 1, a golf ball about to be hit. As it arrives on the damp green, droplets of water fly up as the ball rolls to the cup and enters the cup. Oh, master stroke, Ken. Thank you, Charles. It's your shout of the 19th hole, I believe. The golfers, shaking hands and walking away. Both men chuckle and walk up to the clubhouse. <laughs> Colin walks behind. Colin walking to where his bicycle is stored. The bike, bare handlebars and no pump. Colin shouts in anguish. Scoundrel! Lousy, thieving scoundrels! Colin roughly grabs the bicycle and pushes it down the drive of the golf pit. As he pauses at the entrance, he looks across the road at the houses. Colin walks up to the front door of the house, knocks at the door politely, waits, and then turns and walks away. Colin walks up to the next house and knocks at the door. The door is answered by a tall woman, a softly spoken lady. Good afternoon, how may I help you? Good afternoon, madam. My name is Colin Coyle and I'm a resident caddy of the Victoria Golf Links. You see, my bicycle's had its pump and hand grip stolen. I was wondering if I could trouble you, ask if I might be allowed to store my bicycle at the house for safety. Well, I tended the links. How dreadful. Yes, of course you may. You may store it around the back, behind the gate. As long as you make sure the gate remains closed at all times, both arriving and leaving. Yes, madam. I will make absolutely sure of that and thank you. I'm sure that you will. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, madam. How was your day, Colin? All right, until the end of the day, Mother. Oh, and what happened at day's end? I arrived at the place where I normally kept my bike only to find that some bastard... Mind your language in this house, my boy. Sorry, Mother. Well, someone had stolen my bicycle pump, trouser clips and both hand grips. What are you going to do? I know. I'm going to report the matter to the police. I inquired at the houses over the road and ended up being given permission to leave the bike at a lady's house, where I will leave it there and collect it every day. 
Are you sure that won't be putting the lady to any trouble? In the meantime, I will have a talk to the police and see if they can recover your items. Anyway, finish up your tea. It is almost ten to seven. The Smile Away Club will be on. Six months later, Colin arrives at Miss Collier's house to collect his bike. Miss Collier is waiting for him at her back door. Colin, I'd like to have a word with you. Yes, Miss Collier. Have I done something wrong? Good gracious, no, it's nothing like that. In fact, I was wondering if you might like a job with General Motors. Yes, please. My brother's in charge of personnel. I can make an appointment for you on Monday. I'll phone your parents and be sure it's all right with them. I am sure it will be. Good afternoon, Miss Collier. Mum, Dad, I have some great news. Not yet, you don't. First you have to wash your hands, my boy. Oh yes, of course. Sorry, Mother. All right, Colin. Now, what is this exciting news? The lady who lets me store my bike at the back shed has said I can have a job at General Motors. She will set up an appointment, should it be all right with your father. The lady in question has phoned, and your father wishes to speak with you. Sit down, Colin. There are a few things you need to understand. General Motors is a very large company, an American company, who build a range of cars and trucks and other equipment. If you behave yourself and do as you are told, you can do very well. How are you planning on travelling there? Your mother and I thought it would be best to ride to the train station, then change to a bus to General Motors and return home the same way. That would be fine, Father, but... We have thought of this. Your mother and I will pay for your fares, etc. Until you receive your first wages, then you will need to work out a budget for fares, board and spending money. Thank you, Father. That will be all for now. I believe your mother has tea ready. Colin has arrived at the personnel office. Colin enters a room filled with people busy operating typewriters and a whole host of other office equipment. Finally, Colin is shown into the office. Old-faced man who, when he stands to shake Colin's hand, turns out to be slim and mm, tall, and much like his sister. Hey, Mr. Collier, I understand you are Colin. Please sit down, Colin. Thank you, Mr. Collier. Did you have any trouble finding your way here? No, sir. What level of school did you achieve? I finished form four, sir. How about sport? Do you play sport? Yes, sir. Football and cricket. Well, you'll need that stamina for the job you'll be doing. Come back here on Monday morning. Someone will show you around. Thank you, Mr. Collier. I'll be here early. Bye, sir. Goodbye, Colin. Colin arrives at the golf club. Good morning, Colin. You're not due in until this afternoon, are you? No, Mr. Woodruff, I'm not. I am sorry to tell you this. It's such a notice. But I've got a job with General Motors starting this Monday. Oh, that's too bad, Colin. You've been such a good caddy. Could you work Sunday mornings, perhaps? Thank you for that, and I'm sorry too, but no. Sunday mornings we attend church, and Mr Collier said we could have to work Saturdays. Oh, look, as sad as it is to lose you, you must take up the job. General Motors is a very big company, and you'll surely be paid far more than I could ever hope to. Quite a feather in your cap, mate. I'll pass on your goodbyes, Colin. Don't hang around any longer. Go. Good luck with it, boy. Thank you, Mr Woodruff. Goodbye, sir. Good morning, Miss Collier. Good morning, Colin. You're here to tell me you got the job at General Motors. Yes, Miss Collier. But how did you know? My brother rang earlier and told me how impressed he was with you during the interview. Thank you for the job. I won't let you down. Miss Collier, thank you for allowing me the bicycle storage for the last six months. I have no doubt about that, Colin. No doubt at all. 
Goodbye, Colin, and good luck. Good afternoon, Mother. Good afternoon, Colin. How was your morning? Well, Mother, I resigned from the golf club and called in to thank Miss Collier for the job. That was nice. Can't you work at the golf links on Saturdays? No, Mr Collier said they often had to have overtime work, depending on how much work they had on. Lunch is ready. Could you go outside and call your father in for lunch, please? Yes, Mother. Thank you, Colin. I will come in shortly. How has your day been so far? Well, Father, I resigned from the golf club today. Sadly, but I had to because Mr Collier said I may have to work Saturdays. Oh, I see. General Moses' office. Hi, I'm Colin Boyle. I have to start here today. I'm Bill. Your job is to take paperwork from Mr Collier's office and get one from Mr Collier's secretary. The girl I first saw, I had the interview. Yes, that's her. Her name is Rosie. Rosie Stafford. You should call her Miss Stafford. Your job is to take the paperwork from here to all the offices and rooms along the complex and over the hall to NASCO. What is NASCO? NASCO stands for National Automotive Service Company. You also have to take paperwork to several sections of the assembly plants. Even though we have a tube carrier, the papers and books you'll be handling are too big and heavy for the tubes. Well, I'd better get started before I have a very short career. Good morning, Colin. My name is Rosie Stafford. You refer to me as Miss Stafford. I presume you know your responsibilities. Take these papers to the NASCO office. Yes, Miss Stafford. Good evening, Colin. How was your first day at General Motors? Well, Mother, it's a bit bewildering. I have to take paperwork from Central Supply Office to NASCO. That stands for National Automotive Service Company. That's quite a mouthful. Yes, it is. But I also have to walk to all sorts of offices and parts of assembly plants. It entails walking miles and miles per day. The young lady I have to collect paperwork from is Mr Collier's secretary. She can be very bossy. Bill, he's a co-worker. He said I should not take any notice of her. She's just a fat little Jewish bitch. Colin, mind your language. Sorry, Mother. I was just saying what Bill said. Colin, ignore what Bill said. You are to take it. Those sort of things happen in those sort of places like General Motors, both offices and factories. If you behave yourself and remain reliable, you will go far. Thank you, Father. I will take your advice. Your mother and I have worked out a budget from your wages. You have 16 shillings and 3 pence, out of which your mother will take out money for clothes and fares and board, which leaves you with 2 shillings and 6 pence. I hope that will be fine. Yes, Father. That'll be fine. I don't need much per week. I'm glad. Colin starts off on his first of many long walks. Here is your first load of papers for this morning, Colin. It is getting close to Christmas. Some of the other workers are saying you might get a Christmas bonus this year. How much is the bonus? One week's wages. Wow, that's a lot. Don't get excited, Colin. You won't be getting it. You have to be here a full year to get the Christmas bonus. If you boys don't get back to work, you won't have a job to collect a bonus. Besides, we might all be out of work next year. After all, General Motors are only car manufacturers. Yeah.